so hello guys and welcome to my channel sir. today again i am back with another important numericals on transmission line design so here this numerical is once asked in 2017 fall of poca university in transmission line design subject so here we have the question as the consumer data for a particular distribution's transformer for a specified year is shown as follows and here the consumer class we have given as class a as class A, class B and class C and their respective consumer number is given as 100, similarly 30 and similarly for class C we have 40 and monthly energy consumption for class A is 30 kilowatt hour, for class B is 20 kilowatt hour given and similarly for class C is 30 kilowatt hour and number of effective days per month for each class is given as 30, 25 and 25. Similarly coincidence factors is given for each class as and similarly the power factor is given for each classes and also the load pattern here we have from table 2 and here the load pattern is given as for class A similarly for class B and class C their respective load pattern is given here and here from this load pattern we can see here the maximum peak has occurred from 14 to 18 here from 14 to 18 as here if we add 0 0.2 1 annual we get 2.2 and if we add this 1 and 0 0.5 and 0 0.2 we will get here 1.7 and if we add this we will get here 1.5 means the maximum peak has occurred during this period means from 14 to 18 and here in this questions we have to calculate for each class of consumer means class A, class B and class C we have to determine the peak load Similarly, you have to calculate the load factor daily and annual, daily load factor and annual load factor too, and also the contribution factors and annual energy sales. And here, in these questions, here we have to determine for each class of consumer means class A, class B, and class C. But here, I have just calculated the value for each, each value for consumer class B only. So here I have calculated for consumer class B. So daily load factor for consumer class B is LAB equal to L average upon L max and L average means daily energy consumption upon 24 upon L max and for consumer B we can see here from load pattern here from consumer B we will get a 0 into and the difference is from 0 to 6 we have 6 so 0 into 6 for this similarly for this we will get a 0 into and 6 and to 10 difference is 4 so 0 into 4 similarly 0 0.5 into 10 to 14 will get here uh, 4 so 0 0.5 into 4 similarly 1 into 4 similarly 0 0.5 into the difference is from 18 to 21 is 3 similarly from 21 to 23 is 4 so 0 into 3 so here we have for consumer class B we will have 0 0.6 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.5 into 4 plus 1 into 4 plus 0 0.5 into 3 plus 0 into 3 upon 24 and this is for consumer class B and this value is obtained from load pattern of consumer class B and the maximum L maximum is 1 and here we can see for consumer class B the maximum demand is here 1 so L maximum is equals to 1 here so if you calculate, you will get here 0 0.312 and so daily load factor LAB equal to 0 0.312 and also daily average electricity consumption of consumer class B. So daily average electricity consumption of uh, consumer class B here we can see in the first table as And here monthly energy consumption. Here we have monthly energy consumption, and for consumer class B, we have 20 kilowatt hour. And similarly, effective days per month is 25 here for consumer class B. And here we are calculating for consumer class B. So daily average electricity consumer, consumer class B will be 20 kilowatt hour per month upon uh, 25 days per month. So we'll get here 0.8 kilowatt hour per day per consumers and per consumer we have 30 consumers for consumer class B so once you multiply 0 0.8 into 30 we will get here 24 kilowatt hour per day and similarly LAB equal to L average upon L max 
and L FBA just we have obtained as 0 0.312 and L average will be 24 kilowatt per hour per day so 24 kilowatt hour upon 24 upon L max so we will get the value of L max so L max will be here 3.2 kilowatt so maximum demand means peak load for consumer class B will be right now 3.2 kilowatt and here annual load factors so for consumer class B annual load factor LFBA means annual so L average upon L max so L average will be annual energy consumption so upon 8760 upon L max and here annual energy consumption means 20 kilowatt hour so 20 into number of consumer is 13 and into a annual so into 12 upon 8760 and L max is 3.2 just we have obtained so once you calculate you will get here 0 0.256 here And here contribution factor for consumer class B. So C B equal to class demand at the time of system peak upon class non coincidence maximum demand. So if you calculate for uh, contribution uh, contribution factor for con uh, class A, we'll get here class demand at the time of system peak. So here from load pattern table we can see here. Here for class A we have 0 0.2 similarly for class B is 1 and class C 1 since the peak has occurred from 14 to 18 and here for consumer class A the maximum demand is 1 similarly for class B we have maximum demand 1 similar for class B, we have maximum demand 1 given and so contribution factor will be So here you can see now contribution factor will be 0 0.2 means class demand at the time system we have 0 0.2 and class to known coincidence maximum means maximum demand is 1 for class A. So you get here 0 0.2 similar for class B is the class demand at the time system big is 1 and maximum demand is 1 so it will be 1. Similarly for class C it will be also 1. And now here we have to calculate the annual energy share means annual energy share for class B consumers will be 20 kilowatt hour into 30 consumers into 12 months so we will get here 7200 kilowatt hours so we just now have calculated for consumer class B so we have calculated for class B similarly you can calculate for class A and class C hope you enjoyed the lecture thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you